Hi everyone, welcome to my Autodesk screencast. My name is Zan Ta and I work for Repro Products in Smyrna, Georgia. I'm an Autodesk certified instructor and hold many certifications in multiple Autodesk products for the AEC industry. I hope you enjoy my screencast. If you'd like to see more of my screencasts, please search for VAR 2015, that's V-A-R 2015, or my name. Please don't forget to give me a thumbs up after you watch it. In today's screencast, we'll be taking a look at a higher level understanding of what work sets are in Revit. Here I have just a drafting view called work sets concept to help you illustrate as though it's a whiteboard uh, what work sets actually is. When we work with Revit, we know that we're building a three-dimensional model that contains all the data that we need, all the BIM data, 2D and 3D content. When we're learning the software, we typically think of it as a single model and we're doing the work and, and we're done. Uh, we build something. However, in the real world environment, we have to work with multiple people, not just by ourselves. And all these people have to work in conjunction with each other to work on that single Revit model. Work sets allows you to take a model, turn it into what's known as a single central model um, that hosts all the content. And then you have the ability to create what are known as local models on each of the workstations to replicate and synchronize the data back and forth so that ultimately everybody can work at the same time. Here I have a graphic representation of a, a server. You have your Revit central model that sits here, the master model. You have several workstations that have uh, end users that are working on those stations. When you work with Revit and you've created a central model, which is nothing more than going to the Collaborate tab and initializing the work sets command, it turns it into a Revit central model. That model is then placed on this central server. A copy of that model is also placed on each of the end users' local workstations, and those are called local models. When we work with work sets, think of it as a hierarchy set of folders that you've placed in the Revit model. You can call them whatever you want. For example, we have exterior shell, interior walls, doors and windows, FF&E, structural, and support spaces. This is nothing more than folder categorization of information. Once these work sets are created, you will take the actual 3D model geometry of the Revit central model and basically tell them you belong to this particular work set or this one or this one or this one or this one. Once the model is divvied up in regards to what objects belong to what particular work set, it's saved as the central model. The local copies are made here as well. Now when an end user goes in to use uh, to work on a Revit project, they actually open up their local model and open up a, the particular work set that they have been assigned to that's coming from the central model. That information is passed down into that local model and this end user can therefore work on their local model for the information that belongs to their particular work set, for example, exterior shell. The other end users can do the exact same thing for their local models and their respective work sets. If there is a situation where user one is working user 2 is working, and user 2 needs to move or modify an object that belongs to a different work set that is not part of this particular work set that they're already currently in, they can request permission to borrow the temporary rights to that object from this other user. If this other user grants that temporary right, this user 2 will get a pop-up notification that says, hey, you've been given granted access, and this user will have temporary borrowing rights to modify the object. When this user saves the model, he saves it locally, which is this icon here, which saves the data to this local model. If he, if he selects this icon, synchronize and save to central, the data that he just created gets uploaded to the central model, his temporary borrowing rights disappears, any new changed data that's in the Revit central model that this user does not have since the last time he worked on this model or says save to central or hits reload latest, that data gets pushed down to this user. And the exact same functionality help works with every user. So that at any point in time, they all have the latest data as long as they hit, are saving back to central or hitting reload latest. And that is preferably done once every 15, 20 minutes. 
some users in Revit work very quickly and a lot of data can change in that time frame. Um, it's always uh, advisable that you save to the local model with this icon here within, every, within 30 minutes and save to central as well. And that's it. That's a very uh, brief uh, higher overall uh, view of what WorkSets is in Revit. Thanks for watching my screencast and please don't forget to give me a thumbs up.